This game really feels like COD Ghost. You got the leaning, you got a lot of big maps, right? With the second story elevation. You got a lot of varied caliby. And you have all these kill streaks that aren't really hard to get. And plus there's a lot of perks in the game that are just catered to the noobs. And I don't understand why Dead Silence, a perk that good players used, is not, you know, a perk anymore. It's a field upgrade. In this video, I'm going to try to show you how this game is really Call of Duty Ghost. This game has a lot of features that resembles Ghost. Uh, shitty map design. The game still looks bland. You have to go into colorblind settings just to vibrant your color scale. So you can see other players around the map. Because the visibility in this game is as bad as Ghost. Ghost had some very bad visibility, but this game takes the cake. This game also has uh, ghosts that you don't have to move around, so you can just sit in the corner and uh, you win. Every gunfight you see is not a gunfight because you're shooting somebody in the back of the head. The deployable shield. Remember in Black Ops 2, you get your riot shield, you set it down, it deploys and shit? Well, it's back. And... Doesn't bother a lot of people, but I run into it a lot in ground war. I run into a lot of bullshit in ground war, and I try to play it, and this game is just too damn frustrating. We've been preaching the same thing to Activision. They don't care about you. They care about your fucking money. All they care about is getting that last dime out of you. I bought the Ghost Pack, because I thought that was cool, having Simon Ghost Riley back. Well, it's all just a big scam. All they care about is your money. Warzone is free, so you can have more people download it, and it makes their bottom line look better, and actually increases their bottom line. They get profit off of Warzone. And you get free players coming in, they see all these bundles, because there's over 250 something bundles in the store. Well, guess what? They're buying those bundles. Look better. Even the hackers were buying bundles. So, they're only after your money. They don't give a damn what you say. They don't care about you. They only care about your wallet. And here's a theory, James, okay? The good players who play the game a lot, not necessarily stream or whatnot, they just play the game. They're addicted to it, right? Probably don't have a lot of money. Probably, you know, live at your mom's house or your parents' house or whoever. Probably in high school or have a sustained job that's just, you know, taking care of the bills. Well, you don't have enough money to buy these packs. So they don't care about you. You just have enough money to buy the game. You got uh, revision Modern Warfare for some reason. They revisioned it even though we just had a remastered out for it couple years back but whatever so the ones that do have money is the ones that have uh, not a lot of time to play so what do they get they get snapshot grenades they get ghosts that's so overpowered you just sit in the corner they're not getting out gun because the TTK is pretty damn fast in this game and the hit reg in this game is even fast like it's horrible it is horrible especially in war zone when you have 250 health i'm still getting taken down like four bullets full plates i saw a marksman video the other day he got taken down by two shots from a p90 two shots but they don't care about you they don't care about anything except taking care of their investors and I'm trying to prove a point that none of these fuckers care about you. That's why they don't respond to us. They don't respond to our feedback. You know, we've been preaching the same thing over and over. Yeah, they nerfed the 725 because it was a damn sniper. And they kind of tweaked the M4. But you still got your weapons that very easy to use. The M4, the Growl. Very, very easy to use. And... That's all you need in the game, right? I mean, they don't care about weapon balance. 
as long as your players that are buying stuff and spending the most money is having fun, that's all they care about. They don't care about the good players that want to get better because they can't. That ceiling up there, we can't pass that ceiling. Skill based matchmaking has this tight lid on us and we can't pass it. Unless we're playing with other skilled players. Usually when you're playing alone, you have to run the whole team by yourself. And it's just too frustrating. Yeah. It's too stressful. It doesn't make sense. So I'm just trying to urge people. Just get off of this bandwagon. Get some stress off your life. Go play Valorant. That's a good game. Go play anything else besides this piece of garbage. Because all they care about is your money. And they're paying YouTubers, which is funny as hell. They're giving COD points out, and they're giving the game free out early. So they make better impressions about it at the first launch, right? And they have the first video coming out about the video game. So us bottom end YouTubers, we don't get to have anything or big numbers or anything on day one. Because it's really like day two or three for us. So, if you enjoy playing the game, you know, don't buy the stupid shit in the store. I mean, it's better than loot boxes by a thousand percent. But the season passes are still shit. Like, you get two guns every, what was it, 75 days? And those two guns are just reskins. I mean, okay, so you got the Striker 45, yeah, right? Really New gun. Um, pretty damn shit. It's not good at anything.